I'm here in Nagoya, Japan, birthplace of the Toyota Automobile Company. Uh, and the first Toyota was built right here in this town, which is kind of exciting. In fact, it's right behind me. Toyota, of course, started originally building looms and then moved into the automobile business. Well, what a thrill this is to drive Toyota's very first car, the 1936 AA. It's very reminiscent of the early Chryslers and uh, very well built. This is a substantial car. You know, it's a six cylinder engine. It's 3.4 liters, about 65 horsepower. This car is so rare, none are thought to exist. Toyota built this one in 1989. And since it was built by, by Toyota, I guess it's authentic. It just wasn't built in 1936. Rumor has it there's one in Russia somewhere and maybe parts of another one somewhere else. So uh, if you find one of these, hang on to it. It's a rare piece. I love the styling, little Art Deco uh, touches on it. Look at that hood ornament. That's sort of uh, part of Toyota right there, Toyota symbol. Um, you know, it, it rides like a 36 Ford or one of those cars. Uh, I think the Ford V8 was about 65 horsepower, so this six cylinder is 65 horsepower. So that's pretty good. Quite modern, nice trim. But again, it had to be expensive. Unless you are a member of the Imperial Royal Family, I don't know who could have afforded something like this. Maybe an industrialist. Uh, these were essentially hand-built automobiles. They were built on a wooden buck. Uh, even, even American cars did not have a full press steel roof. One or two might have, but most didn't because we didn't have a press big enough at the time. So there would be wooden slats across here with kind of a fabric covering or a leatherette type covering. But this has a full steel roof because it was hand-hammered over a body buck. You know, you got the fake wood grain dashboard. Nice wood grain around here. Nice car. This would have been a wealthy person's automobile back in the day. And it drives quite nicely. 